Needless questions asked. Can you tell us about physical fitness and exercising in Korea? Do they have gyms? If so, what are they like? What kind of people go to these gyms? And the question goes on and on forever with very many points. For today, let's just focus on going to the gym. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and the gym just, just working, working on, on my fitness. fitness. Ooh. Who said that? What? No. Why would you do something like that? I would that? never dance to Fergie at the gym. No, 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 no. We're good dishes. Mm. Mm. First thing I'd like to say is that gym memberships in Korea are really expensive. Whoa. Like, whoa. I guess like in North America, I'm used to like those ginormous warehouse sized gyms that have like a pool and like a swimming a sw pool and a swimming pool. Two different and a kinds pool of pool. Swimming and a pool to swim There's in. like a gambling pool and a swimming pool. And a pudding pool. You can swim and eat pudding, which would be kind of active. As soon as you get fat, gym. you can just run off on a treadmill. Okay, and a track and a basketball court. Or like you can pay 200 bucks for the whole year. Yeah, the, or... the one that I went to had all that stuff and it was only 250 for the year. But the gyms that we've been to in Korea, one of them actually was really small, didn't have all these extra amenities, no pool, no basketball court, and really limited equipment. And it costs like $900 for the year. Yeah. You can go to cheaper gyms in Korea. Yes. And those expensive gyms will go on sale. So my advice is if you're gonna go to the gym in Korea, wait for the sale period and mm. then go. Okay, so now- When is the sale period? I don't know. You just gotta go every 30 days and be like, hey, is the sale period yet? No. no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> no. Sometimes. <laughs> no, they'll give out flyers. We don't flyers, recommend okay? you saying that to the gyms. Yes, they will give out flyers mm -hmm. and you can go there when the gym is on sale. Okay, so now that you're actually at the gym in Korea, what is it like? I think the number one thing you're gonna notice about Korean gyms is that they have air conditioners there, but I think that they're just display models for <sighs> decoration because why don't the gyms turn on the air conditioner okay. when it's so hot in there? Three gyms we've been to. Yeah. Three. And we've asked all our foreign friends and uh -huh. everyone will say the same thing. Why is air conditioning not on? You're going to get swamp ass. You're going to be sweating, yeah. disgusting, and if, they will never turn on the air conditioner. If some of you guys follow us on like Twitter and Instagram, you'll see that I posted a photo of the actual like thermostat in yeah. my gym. And it was like 80% humidity. And like and 28 like, degrees inside the gym. I've had some people say like the hot air is good for your muscles and it's good to relax and this and that. But here's the problem is that I actually have asthma. Yeah. And when the gym is 80 degrees humidity and mm -hmm. If I physically exert myself, I have almost had an asthma attack at the yeah, gym like yeah, twice. Yeah. So it's really frustrating to me because I'm paying money to go somewhere where I want to be in a cold condition. If I want 80 degrees humidity and I just go outside, outside and exercise. Right. What, why because then, you know what, what's interesting is that in Korea, there are a lot of like walking outdoor, paths and outdoor gyms. Yeah, like outdoor exercise. They don't have like the full bench press and whatnot, but they have those little, like turny things yeah. that go like so, this and they have the machines that go, yeah. mm. you, know, you know those ones? Eat your kimchi style. I have a theory about this because I've noticed that maybe Korean people don't feel heat in rooms the way mm -hmm. us foreigners feel. If you're on the bus or if you're on the subway, they also have decorative air conditioners, yeah. which they barely ever want to turn on. When we were in Singapore, everything was air conditioned. It was like, awesome. So like ice box temperature and we were so happy. But here in Korea, like you go to buildings and they're barely air conditioned. Yeah. They have it on like 25 degrees, just a little bit cooler than that, yeah. but not too cool. Like I physically sweat in the malls in Korea. Like, oh yeah. I, I can't, it I go shopping. It is uncomfortable. Yeah. But, but here's the thing. The gym is the one place where people are going to raise their body temperature. We know why a lot of Korean people don't sweat at the gym because mm. the number two thing you're gonna notice about Korean gyms is that they have a million treadmills and people like to do the walk setting. I barely see anybody running on these treadmills. They just like, let's walk for a very long time. We're talking about like an hour and a half of people strolling. And, and then the people will walk there. like backwards slowly really and then they'll get on the bikes and they'll be on the bikes really, really slowly, slowly and they'll go on the bikes really slowly so backwards. Then, okay, so on one hand, and I understand mm. that there's TVs in, in all the machines, right? right? So, so I think that might be it. Instead of staying at home and sitting on your couch and watching TV, yeah. it's better to have some physical movement and watch TV at the gym while you're going really, really, really slowly really slow. and you're watching a show. So that makes a little bit of it sense. It does. So on the plus side, anyone who's interested in actually like weightlifting and using the weight machines, they're mm. usually pretty clear. Yeah. It's the treadmills and the bikes that you're mm. gonna wait like an hour and a half for. But and we're not joking because you could actually see the yeah. timers on it. When I walk by, like this person's been on this thing yeah. walking for 80 minutes. But you know what? What's really good about gyms in Korea is that I do notice a lot of older people yes. going to the gyms and like, using this equipment while like the gyms I went to in North America didn't really have older people. It's pretty much like people between 20 and like 30 and And they're 40. all hot and buff and yeah. they're all like, mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I think it seems like the Korean people that go to gyms go for like, you know, health reasons. Like it's really healthy to go to gyms. While in North America, I saw so many like beef heads and muscle heads. They're like, 
I don't really see that many really, really beefy people in the gyms in Korea. And I've actually, I can honestly say I've never seen a Korean girl that has any like muscle definition. Mm -mm. Honestly, I can't. No. Everyone is very thin. Yep. And they might be like physically healthy on the inside, but uh -huh. they don't have any like definition on their arms and stuff. And you no really rarely see girls. No really bodybuilding kind of people we've seen. I'm sure they must exist somewhere. Just in the three gyms that we've been to, we've never seen them. Another thing that we wound up noticing is that gym etiquette in Korea isn't really up to what we are used to in North America mm -hmm. as well. Like it seems like in North America, as soon as you're done using machine, you have the spray bottles beside it and you gotta wipe down the machine. Wipe them down. I've never seen anybody wipe down a machine here in yeah. Korea. Well, there's also no spray bottles to wipe down. Right. And nobody brings towels. And another thing we notice is that people really monopolize the machines mm. and the benches. So for example, whenever I'm doing bench presses, as soon as I'm done a set, I'll stand up and I'll move around, I'll get some water and whatnot. And if somebody else wants to use it in between my sets, mm -hmm. fine. But it seems like as soon as they start using it, they're gonna sit on that bench press for like 20 <laughs> minutes. Gonna their, they're gonna do all their They're gonna do one and then gonna sit down and be like, yeah, sitting here on the bench. Go check this their phone. White guy's like, looking at me. You know, you should be able to swap in and out yeah. at times. So the same thing with the leg press. Like I was waiting for the mm. leg press machine. So mm -hmm. I do like three sets on the leg press machine. I do one set and then I go do something else and I go back. Someone else will go there and literally just do really slow leg presses. Yeah. Like 150 of them. I'm on the mat trying to wait for the machine and it's never going to happen. Yeah. And mm -hmm. people will also take the weights, put them down in front of them and then they'll do something else like stretch yeah. or whatever. And I'm like, well, you should have put the weights back, back so, so that I can else use could them. Use so. Speaking of putting weights back, whenever like I'm at the bench press, a lot of people don't pull their weights off afterwards. They're just like, I'm done my set. I'm just going to leave it here for someone else to move. And my theory about that is that it's very similar to when you're like moving apartments in Korea is that when you get rid of all your furniture, you're supposed to leave dust there so that the new people that come in are supposed to clean it. So maybe that has translated over into gym etiquette, no. which nobody ever pulls the weights off of their no. bars. I have a more realistic theory. Okay. Okay. In North America, people work out, go to the gym. Right. They usually start that e even in high school. Yeah. And even in high school, you have like gym class 101 where they mm -hmm. teach you how to use the weight room. So I just think that in North America, we're used to learning about gym etiquette at a young age, but Korea doesn't really have that. Now, the final thing I want to say is that we have seen some people at the gym who are awesome with etiquette. Like yeah. few people bring towels or they, mm. they do around the sets. Like mm. they know what they're doing, but mm. it is kind of rare. So I don't think- It's not that it doesn't exist. It's just, it's not as common as what we're used yeah, to. Yeah. So I think that the gym culture in Korea just isn't really up to the same level of like intensity in North America. Oh, I'm get really busy. Let's walk for a very long time. And I think we have a reason for that, but we're going to talk, talk more about, about that. We're going to talk about more in the blog post if you want to learn about our theories and whatnot. So our click theories. on the link here. So that's it for this week's TLDR. If you have a question for next TLDR, leave your question in the comment section below. Or check out the questions already asked and you can thumb them up to bring them to our attention. And don't forget to subscribe for more TLDRs where we work out to Fergalicious. I think everything is over Ugh, there. Or is it but you got over there? there. Oh. Let's flex our guns. Go, show them your guns. No, I'm Close embarrassed ready? because I'm not muscular enough. Look. I've been trying. Look. I just lost weight first. Ready? Now I'm going to try to add some more look muscles. My, look at my... Look at that. Look at that. Look at them glutes. Look at them glutes. Coming for you 2 p.m. Wait, 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 I can do this. Uh, you see Ready? my chest move?